Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. We have a definite ladies watch today. Finally, we're getting some nice, sophisticated, smart stuff in a format that fits for a lady's wrist. Where can you get it? Directly from AliExpress, of course. This is the Cockfit official store. Uh, and it's a 2020 version, although 2021 we're in already. Fitness uh, bracelet for women, under $30. And again, check the show notes. We'll have the link that'll take you right over here to pick it up. Inside this one now, you have um, basically step count, fitness tracker, sleep tracker, all the typical things we see in these watches. These are supported languages for the watch. Uh, life waterproof, basically just don't get it wet too much. So splash proof, perhaps. They're calling it a square, but it's really a square watch inside of kind of an oval presentation um, in the uh, the way that the case is designed. You're looking at a 1.08 inch 220 by 128 screen, so it should look nicely on smaller wristed folks, which is something we haven't seen for a while. Usually these look, wow, kind of lost because they're so big. That's nice. This is the gold one inside the box, which is interesting design for the box itself. It just lets the watch present itself right out here at you. Wow, wow. Okay, it's got a quick release type of thing, and you slip your uh, arm in here. Not even sure if Uncle Dix can wear this one. <laughs> we'll do our best. Uh, we've got a little cover over the screen. Oh, that's sweet. Look at that. This will definitely make a nice gift. Uh, not too thick either. And you have a charging dock, it looks like. This will sit right in the dock. Oh, yeah. Magnetically couples. Really strong. Easy to charge at night. Just have it plugged into a charger. Okay. And the fancy tool... I don't know if you guys have seen this, but this is the thing you, you open it up and in order to size it to fit your wrist, you have to punch out these little pins in here. So you can line this thing up, punch out the pin and take out some of the links if you need to. Try to balance it on both sides so it'll fit a wrist perfectly. And really great that they give you this tool because sometimes it can be challenging to do. I often recommend just take it to a jeweler that works with regular watches if you need to adjust it. But with this, you probably can do it on your own. And maybe even other watches you may own that need uh, links removed. It's got a tiny little user's manual in a variety of languages. Looks like we'll go across the top in English here. Give you a quick look at the manual before we get started. Here we go. Basic operations of it where the buttons are and how it works. Here's the different um, QR codes for the tethering app. So it looks like you've got FFIT available for the Android market from Google Play, the Apple, and then also My App, um, which I guess is another source that you can download it. We'll have a link, of course, in the show notes for that too. Here's some more descripting um, about the product, it says, functions, some of the screens that you'll see, see and some of the things that it'll do. Again, typical um, smartwatch by today's standards, just in a completely different shape for ladies. And then we have different languages on this side as well. Hey, this is fun. I'm excited to get it charged up and show it to you. Let's go. Wow, really attractive watch. Okay, to turn it on, press and hold the button and it vibrated and comes up with the first watch face, which is really attractive as well and integrates nicely with the watch. It's got to twist your wrist to see the time and when you slide, you can go into a lot of different things. Safety has to do with the period cycle. There is ovulation and there is... Mm, you know the deal. Uh, anyway, it's all here. We'll see it in the app. If I go the other way, we can loop through them all. We get to state. State is your step count information. Next one is heart rate. Tap that. Begins the green diodes in the back for reading your heart rate. Next one is blood pressure. You'll get your systolic and diastolic. And oh, by the way, the, the readings are relatively accurate compared to what my uh, cuff readings are. You've got uh, blood oxygen. Now watch this. It wants you to keep it tightly because it's using the red diode 
for uh, computing blood oxygen. Takes a real long time, but it gets it right. At least I hope it's right. Anyway, it's using the best technology. Workouts. Here's where you can execute a running, climbing, or walking, football. It's not um, robust in terms of all of the different workouts, but it's got a few of them in there. You've got messages pushed from your phone, last night's sleep time, and it's showing the average heart rate throughout the night. And when you get into the app, you see more details. And overall settings where you can change the watch face or the brightness. You can get the QR code uh, and about this device are all in here. When you go to brightness, I just wanted to show you that's just medium brightness. You can have a super high brightness and you have low. So you have three levels you can set. And when you go into your watch faces, check these out. There's some great, great faces. That's the first one. This is really nice. All I got to do is touch it and the arrows go away, you see, and then you're on that particular face. So we went to... Uh, settings which we come back to here watch faces okay so that was the second one here's another one very colorful look at that here's um a butterfly one that's the one we saw in the manual i believe when i was showing you that here's a, a, a an actual picture kind of a face and you'll see you can download many more that are like that as well from the app and here's one that i downloaded from the app that i particularly like i like to run it with that one i'm going to keep that one that's the last one then we're back to where we were before uh, so it does have some additional capability to add at least one face out of a, a bunch of them that are listed you saw me i went this way from looping around that way we looked at settings now you're into tools where we have a music player stopwatch if you want and you can't run it in the background so you have to exit it uh, but it does give you that and it's got a count down timer as well if you want find your phone will of course wake your phone up and let you know where it is if you lost it that's tools the qr code and then back again to the safety and there's nothing else it tells you except where you are in your cycle if you've got it uh, accurately plugged into the app which i guess we should uh, switch over to and, and let you take a look at that um, that's it we've covered the watch faces and everything the button is just basically on and off and press and hold will power it down okay the app now is called f fit I need to have this on so we can do the tethering. This is from the Google Play Store. You can download it, of course, uh, from the link in our show notes if you want to. Uh, however you want to get to it. When you open it, you get into it. You can set everything up. And then once you tether it to the H8 Pro, you'll be in this uh, face. And it says it's synced. We can do the synchronizing. I just added a few more steps this morning. Here's the step count. It shows you your percentage of your daily target and the time you did your steps and you can change the days. So good information there. Here's heart rate. It's not taking heart rate when it's not being worn. But I will know, um, point out to you that it's kind of erratic. You see how we have some heart rates that are low, some are high on here. What I'm finding is if you don't wear this tightly around your wrist, it's going to be close to your wrist try to get you a heart rate and it tends to be on the high side so um accurate maybe when it's worn properly when it's off it's definitely not taking any readings which is good it explains about quiet being your resting heart rate and the zone stuff but none of that changes it's just here and then of course you can go back to the previous day and see the readings from that day as well that's in heart rate sleep time last night's sleep time information is here um, you see you've got deep light and wide awake and what percentage of your target total sleep time you hit time to bed time awake but you can't touch on it to see any information uh, sorry that's a triple tap to, uh, in the phone um, you can't touch any of them to see exactly when i was awake for example but you could kind of estimate it so a basic basic uh, sleep tracker is built in it as well motion i haven't uh, been able to transfer any of the motion data collected from the watch to the app uh, however you can start exercising using gps in the phone and it'll track that activity for you so if you're going to do anything and have your phone with you you may want to activate it from here 
This is your heart rate and blood pressure. When you're wearing the watch, uh, you can say start measuring and it will automatically calculate both heart rate and blood pressure here. And when you go into it, it gives you health advice and gives you an overall reading and shows you some data on here, which is really nice. And uh, it's an instantaneous kind of a reading. You can do it each day and when you do it, you have it in here. Um, so it's something you can execute from the app. You can also take that reading in blood pressure from here and it does the same thing. So when you're doing the blood pressure reading on here, you're also able to get your heart rate. This one right here. Really nice uh, overall reading. And like I said, the numbers are pretty darn good compared to what mine should be. Not often do I see that. Blood oxygen, just basic, doesn't tell you much, um, but you can do it one time there's no continuous on any of this the continuous is for the heart rate that you saw up here but as in most watches blood pressure blood oxygen they're a one-time uh, event now for the ladies and it is a ladies watch we get into the um physiological 28 plus or minus day cycle you can set all that up if you're different than 28 days or five days in length or whatever and it's really glorious you get in here you start the period it shows you its time uh, you can set these different kind of things on here update it regularly and um, you see you've got menstruation safety and ovulation and those are what flashes here on the watch it says safety now yesterday it said ov uh, ovulation i think uh, yeah, yeah, because it was that orangey kind of a color. So it keeps up with that. And guys, um, yeah, that's something that the ladies might be interested in that you don't have to go into a lot of detail, but they'll figure it out, I imagine. And that's in here in one of the cards. You can sort these cards any way you want, and you can delete them if they don't apply as well. That's pretty much the whole first tab. Come over to device. Here's where we have the dial center, and look at all the different ones. That's the one that I downloaded, you saw on here, but we have a whole bunch of other ones as well. And this is one I believe you can add your own pictures to when you get in here. You can load it up, you can put it in different positions, and kind of create your own custom face with your picture on it. Right, guys? Huh? Yeah? Okay. Um, and yeah, any of these you can download. Some have more data than others. Some are colorful, but they're there. And more in each of these sections. So business affairs, well, they only have those three. Dazzle color. Here you go. You get a few more. And I presume they're updating them as they go along too. So that's your dial center. Things that you can do, enabling your background permissions, set up your notifications, your reminder settings for drinking water, alarms, medication, all of those loop timer kind of things can be set up in the app, not on the watch. Your basic do not disturb mode is nice because you can set a window start and end time so you can just leave it on during the day and it'll take care of it at night. Continuous heart rate monitoring, longer battery life if you turn it off, if you don't need that. And of course, activating your raise your wrist to see the time that causes it to light up from the screen in the app. So you definitely need to work with the app and the watch together on this. You can tie it into Google Fit. Sorry, here we go, touching, I touch all over the phone, triple tapping, all, all these things I have activated, I mess them up in the app uh, reviews. Uh, find the device, take a photo, you know, you can use it as a trigger for the photo taken by your phone. And then overall more settings, which is just basically your units and whether you're wearing it on your left or right arm, which apparently is important too, and uh, firmware update capability. By the way, check it for firmware update. This one needed an update when I got it. Yours may too. Care is when you set up friends and you can work together with those friends. And mine is your information, which is where you get in here, set your gender, uh, which I always set for female nowadays. So you can see the physiological um, card, which won't be there if you register as male and basic birth date, height, body weight, all those things. You do have the skin color setting on this one which is pretty cool i don't know i think i'm more that color uh, but you have all that which will help you in um, getting more accurate overall readings you can have google maps or a different kind of map and here's where you can calibrate what your your normal cuff blood pressure is and because i did that and changed the value to my default 
it appears that the numbers are closer, higher or lower, uh, adjusted to my real numbers as opposed to being kind of off. So nice when you see that calibration capability, especially if you're really looking to track uh, heart rate. When you put it on, now this is where I want to really talk to you guys. I notice lots of ladies like to have dangly things, um, except yoga pants. Um, when you're wearing jewelry and stuff like that, you want it to be loose and easy like this. Ah, <laughs> darn, there we go. Uh, and I, I understand that, that like uh, bracelets and things should be loose, but it doesn't work well for these smartwatches that need to be making contact for doing all of the measurements. Hence, we're seeing this problem in the heart rate readings for one, and same thing with blood pressure and the others if you take it like this. But I found a solution. First of all, I put this on. Uh, we showed you you can take the, um, the sections off, and I've got a relatively large arm, so on a thinner female arm, it's going to be much better, especially without the hair. Sorry, guys. Best I can do. No, I'm not going to go shave it off to show you a lady's watch. Um, here's what I'm getting at. You, you see, you can even see my skin imprint. When I do my measurements, I squeegee it up my arm until it's nice and tight, like that now it's not flopping around and i'll take a blood pressure reading or a blood oxygen reading and when i'm done i can just like let it come down doesn't seem to be bad loose if you're uh, sleeping because it's not using the diode so much for sleeping as it is your your st uh, uh, pedometer uh, thing that lets you know if you're moving in bed or not so that's okay but it's for taking the measurements slide it on up there and you'll be in good Look at that. Isn't that nice? I, I really like this one. Oh, my goodness. I think Mrs. Tick's going to have fun with this. She usually gets all the ladies' watches to wear, so definitely she's going to get this one. Where can you get it? You can head over to AliExpress. There's a Cocky Fit, C-O-C-I Fit official store, and it's available right now. It's um, the HA upgrade, and it's uh, very inexpensive. Uh, really nice overall watch and yeah I think it's going to make a great present for just the right person that likes this kind of a look. Alrighty gang that's it for today and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.